Lossy compression. We normally think of uh, lossy compression as uh, being capable of lossy compressing images. Like you take um, some uh, image and produce an output image that's smaller and kind of similar to what you pass in an input. And um, I've actually invented a way of doing the same thing of CS with CSS. So given a CSS file, uh, you can uh, produce a another CSS, file CSS an output that kind of retains uh, hopefully most of the information that. Uh, is in the input file and is smaller. Um, just to clarify, this is not about minification, it's about actually rewriting the CSS rules on input. And let's see how to do it. Um, so like first step is to take the in input CSS, um, take all the um, uh, selectors, uh, separating them if they are come separated into like the base selectors, uh, and put them on uh, the column of a 2D matrix and take the um, uh, CSS declarations, deduplicating them and put them on the color, on the uh, as the rows of the matrix. So we can like represent the CSS on uh <laughs> as this 3 by 3 matrix. In real life, uh, I've tried uh, warsojs.com CSS. It's more like 8,000 by 8,000, slightly larger. That's quite typical for uh, the uh, size of CSS found in real life, um, but uh, you can actually apply this technique to it. So once we have our uh, binary matrix, what can we do with it? Um, decompose it. <laughs> so um, uh, linear algebra uh, gives us tools to um, rep uh, represent a matrix as a product of two matrices that taken together are smaller um, than the input matrix because uh, these R dimension is uh, as small as you want it to be. And when you uh, take the product of these matrices, you get a ma back a matrix that is similar to the input one uh, in the sense of the difference having a small uh, Frobenius norm. Um, so uh, you can probably can uh, get the hang of where it's, go where it's going. Uh, just um, uh, if, uh, as a reminder for those students who don't remember how to multiply matrices, so uh, you like put them side by side, and you take um, uh, for all the uh, uh, fields in the uh, output matrix, you take the uh, corresponding row uh, from matrix uh, A and uh, column from matrix B, and uh, put in the dot product of these uh, two vectors at that point. Um, so the problem with this is that uh, when you do it with uh, two binary matrix matrices, you don't necessarily get a binary matrix um, back. Uh, and uh, correspondingly, when you decompose a binary matrix, um, you don't necessarily get a uh, two binary matrices back. You probably get a some fractional numbers uh, that are... Uh, tricky to work this in that you can't really produce any CSS back from them, or at least I'm not sure how, as long as 1 plus 1 is 2. But what we can do <laughs> is say 1 plus 1 equals 1 and operate in this uh, algebra of Boolean where there's just a 0 and 1, and uh, 1 plus 1 equals 1, and you can uh, treat this... Uh, matrix that we've seen as a actually a sum of two two way two rectangles. Um, and uh, in this algebra, you still can pr uh, apply the uh, matrix product. Uh, and it has the nice property that uh, uh, a product of uh, two binary matrices is still a binary matrix. And the flip side is that um, the normal uh, like uh, linear algebra tools that uh, uh, are normally used uh, like for the real matrices like uh, single value decomposition or non-negative matrix factorization don't work here. Uh, instead, what we can do is uh, apply a uh, problem called the Boolean matrix factorization, to wi which is known to be NP-hard, so uh, there are no uh, uh, practical algorithms that uh, uh, work fast. There are some um, 
heuristic algorithms, and it's actually a, uh, an active area of research, so new algorithms keep popping up. Um, and uh, you can use one of these. So assuming we've uh, decomposed our <laughs> binary matrix, um, like how we, how can we do use this decomposition to construct this set pattern? So uh, we've decomposed a matrix of uh, selectors by declarations into a matrix of uh, selectors by something times a matrix of something by declarations. So what is something? When you think about it, uh, the uh, definition of uh, matrix multiplication in uh, the Boolean algebra uh, is that uh, you get one in the um, uh, cell in the output if for any of the uh, uh if for any k, there's a uh, row uh, that uh, contains one uh, at uh, the position of k and a corresponding column that uh, contain contains uh, one at the same position. And it's kind of the same as CSS, because uh, in CSS, a declaration uh, matches an element specified by, by a selector. If there is a rule that says this selector applies to this, uh, this declaration applies to this selector. And so you can actually reconstruct the CSS from this decomposition. Uh, use <laughs> uh, if you uh, take the columns of B and col rows of C and uh, uh, construct rules that say uh, these uh, selectors uh, uh, correspond to these declarations. So actually, every time <laughs> you write CSS, you didn't know, but uh, you're actually implicitly multiplying two binary matrices. <laughs> and uh, uh, you can actually uh, do it. I have done a, I've written a proof of concept uh, too that does this kind of thing. <laughs> um, the it actually uh, takes a lot of time to compose the words of JS CSS. <laughs> uh, I really wanted to show you how it looks, but uh, I ran it yesterday and didn't complete by <laughs> uh, by the time I can, I can hear. So instead, I'm going to demo uh, how it looks on my homepage, which has only 55 CSS rules. Uh, the thing about it is it's configurable, so you can say how many rules you want back. So you can see like uh, well it gradually resembles uh, the input more and more when applied to it. And I think that's it. Thank you. <laughs> oh. And the proof of concept. Ladies and gentlemen, Prosha Pinespo, uh, what did I say? Uh, was that a decent uh, presentation for you? How much did you like it? <laughs> we have a question there in the back, Vudrek. Uh, 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 sir, in a moment, just a moment. Uh, can I speak? Oh. Um, how does it compare with the zip compression in, in terms of com compression ratio? Because zip. Uh, uses more or less the same method, dictionary based, right? It's, it's, it's and uh, it's kind of orthogonal. What, what this is, is uh, lossy compression, so... Uh, 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 zip is lossless, know, right? Mm -hmm. But how, how your lossy compression, which in principle should be better, how does it compare with zip? It is worse, <laughs> <laughs> but, worse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it, it's that's because it operates on a like, whole different level of, uh, of abstraction, and so you can still apply uh, zip to the output of this, and uh, most of the time, you will get an even smaller uh, input that you would have gotten otherwise. Uh, so since you represented the CSS as a matrix uh, that has binary values, so what I thought was black and white, right? Can you make yeah. an image out of the CSS? <laughs> Absolutely, you can. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can. Uh, like I, I didn't plot it. Most of the time, it will uh, contain zero. So the walls of this, I think, I have the number here. Uh, this walls of this matrix has uh, uh, only four thousand non-zeros in it. Um, so it's like mostly white with a oh. couple of black splashes, <laughs> but still, you can do it. <laughs> I <laughs> that's a super neat idea. I haven't tried it, but maybe. That was the second question, though. Let's go over. Uh, uh, we have one more. Please go ahead. 
Hi, Daniel. Thanks for your presentation. Uh, I would like, please, to know where did you get the, the inspiration <laughs> to, to I make... I don't know. I was just, to I was just thinking about uh, what could we do with uh, matrix factorization. Because, like, it <laughs> <laughs> it's a super versatile tool. You can, like, uh, apply it to um, data mining. In fact, uh, it's used all the time in data mining. Like, you can uh, uh, build abstract representation of, uh, uh, of uh, text and not unlike uh, word to vec In fact, this, I think, is older than word to vec uh, Although, uh, in that domain, it's applied to reals rather than binary matrices. In this particular case, I was just, I had this idea, I, I, I don't know how, how, how I got it, but uh, I was just curious how it works. Interesting. So is there another uh, yeah, yeah, finding than uh, CSS where uh, you can enjoy this uh, decomposition? decomposition yeah, uh, like another idea that I have and haven't yet tried is um, trying to infer uh, schema for this um, kind of databases where you instead of like having a uh, rigid schema like in uh, SQL databases you have this um, uh, triplets uh, that bind uh, entities attributes and values so in that kind of schema you don't really have any like uh, entity kinds predefined but you could actually build a binary matrix of which uh, kinds, which entities in a given database have uh, which kinds of attributes, uh, and try to uh, use uh, BMF to figure out uh, what kinds of like quote unquote entities do you have in, in the database. Um, that's uh, something that I think has practical implications for the thing I'm working on. So maybe I'll try it and tell you how it works next time.